Bombay. All right, so we're here with uh, Beaumont Guitars at the uh, Music Man booth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very exciting. We're gonna look at some new products oh, okay. with uh, our sales guy AJ and the Guitar Gear Guru. Hey, we're very excited about this. So Let's we can it. start off with our passive basses. First time we've ever done all passive basses. We've got the Caprice and the Cutlass. Cutlass is going to street at 1649. Got an alder body, now nickel five pickups with plain enamel wire, simple volume and tone. Nice uh, tinted neck. It's not a oil and wax finish like most of our necks are. It's actually a super thin poly finish. Satin though, so it's not glossy. It's not going to gum up on you. Brother bass, the Caprice. It's got the uh, the two pickups there. Also, uh, Alnico 5, plain enamel wire. You got a volume for each pickup and a master tone. The neck on this one's gonna be a little thinner than the, cut, the cutlass bass. This has got our Sterling neck profile. <clears throat> the cutlass neck profile is in between a Sterling and a Stingray. Caprice will street at $16.99. Available in four colors. We've got Heritage Tobacco, Diamond Blue, Black, and Ivory White. These will uh, start hitting the streets in summertime, probably like mid-June. Any, anything new with the Stingrays or the uh, Sterlings? That, well, with the Stingray this year, for the neck through, we're doing them in Whoa. stealth black. Nice. We started doing the neck through Stingrays last year, but we didn't include stealth black as an option. It is now an option this year, one of our most popular finishes. The street on this will be 22. 21.99. Okay. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the Stingray bass. To commemorate that, we wanted to reproduce a bass that Leo Fender actually gave to Sterling Ball. Sterling was a beta tester for the Stingray bass for Leo. And Leo gave him this bass. The, the thing that Sterling always says about Leo is he was pretty deaf. He, he put a screwdriver up to the bridge of the, uh, the bass, put it up to his ear to hear it. That's why Stingrays are so bright, inherently, because that's what Leo could hear. Sterling wanted something a little bit more mellow, so uh, Leo made Old Smoothie, is what the, the nickname of this bass is. This is actually the 27th Stingray ever made. You'll notice that the pickup has five points. So the strings go actually in between the poles. That's awesome. Yeah, it's an alder body. It's got smaller frets on it. Uh, we actually modeled the, we did the preamp to model it after the preamp that's in this base. It's got H components, things like capacitors to grade over time. That gives it a unique sound. Also copied the uh, finish there. You'll notice on the back, there's a skunk stripe. Back when these bases came out, the truss rod was inserted in the back and it was adjusted at the headstock. But we didn't want to adjust it at the headstock because we think that's kind of a pain in the butt. Thank God. Yes. So you can still adjust it down here at the base, but you know it's got the nice walnut accent on the headstock and on the back. Beautiful. Very nice. And these will street at $19.99. So this is the Valentine. It's James Valentine of Rune 5. Oh, nice. Okay. It's a ash body slab 
but wedge shaped. It's bigger down here than it is up here. So when you're playing it, it's not that, you know, it's more comfortable than a standard slap body would be. Anybody that plays slap body guitars knows that they cannot be the most comfortable. Uh, we've got a single coil pickup that we designed here with a cool chrome cover. A humbucker that we designed here. Uh, we make these in-house. These are also Al Nico 5, the plain enamel wire. It's got a 20 dB gain boost. That's cool. And you can split the humbucker with this push push here. We have a on the video like roasted maple neck. These are available in four colors. We've got this satin natural. There's a translucent black, a translucent maroon, and a buttermilk. Beautiful. Street price on these is 2099 Another new signature artist for us this year is Annie Clark, better known as St. Vincent. Here we've got an African mahogany body, custom knobs. Our uh, modern tremolo, three DiMarzio uh, mini humbuckers. We've got a custom wiring that allows you to access each pickup individually, all at once, or the outside two simultaneously. We've got these really cool custom inlays. It's the S from her logo. You got her logo on the headstock. And a completely rosewood neck. Street price on this is $18.99, and these will start shipping next month. They'll, hit, they'll be available to order or to purchase from stores in March. Here we've got the new Petrucci, the JP16. You'll probably notice right away, it's got a Floyd Rose on it. He wanted a low profile Floyd Rose, so it went with the Floyd Pro 1000. We've got a cool black lava finish, black hardware. The pickups are DiMarzio Illuminators, just like the JP13, the Majesty, the JP15. This does have the 20 dB gain boost. You have the ability to get the middle inside two coils with this push push when you're in the middle. It's a smoky ebony fretboard, so it's got the cool streaks in it. The JP16 inlay at the first fret. <laughs> Roasted maple neck. We went back to basswood on the body. He wanted to, to go back to basswood, just like the original JP6. Just like the original JP6, you've got the forearm scoop here. But the rest of the shape is going to be more like a JP15 or JP13. Street price on this will be $24.99, and these will be available in the summertime. Available in six and seven specific about the development of the Majesty was he wanted a, a lightweight guitar. This, this feels really nice. Can you explain some of the controls to me? Absolutely. So here, we, we've got the ability to, to choose the piezo pickup and the bridge for your acoustic sounds, a combination of the piezo and the magnetics, or just the magnetics. Over here you've got bridge, middle, neck, got the 20 dB gain boost, the ability to split the coils when you're in the middle. And this is actually a momentary knob. You could go stereo or mono out of this output. Wow. <coughs> Street price on that is uh, 26.49. Available in six and seven strings. Got DiMarzio Transitions humbuckers, ebony fretboard, 
pearl inlays, mahogany neck, it's finished, koa top, mahogany body, also has the, uh, the 20 dB gain boost. Flip back around. And that's the loop. Ball Family Reserve Loop 3. Available with two humbuckers or hum single single. Wow. I mean, it feels amazing. Thank you. These are brand new. These will be available to purchase uh, February 1st. It's our modern classic series. This is the Cutlass. Features three Music Man designed single coil pickups that are 60s inspired. Uh, Alnico 5 magnets, plain enamel wire in the middle. The other two have a poly coating. Our modern tremolo. Five way switch. It's got a very comfortable, very soft V to a C neck profile. It's also got the uh, very, very thin poly satin finish with the aged yellow tint. Street price is going to be $14.99. Oh, I like that the neck profile is nice. Available in vintage sunburst, vintage turquoise, ivory white, and black. And to go along with it, this brother guitar here, the Stingray guitar. You may have seen some Stingray guitars from the 70s. They weren't very successful in part just because they were really bright sounding. Mm -hmm. So we had some prototypes laying around of both the Cutlass and the Stingray. So we decided maybe we should do something with them, make use of it. So rather than having a bunch of active electronics, this guitar is completely passive. Two Music Man designed uh, humbuckers. We make those in-house. It's an African mahogany body. An asymmetrical neck profile, similar to the Axis. It's a little bit wider, but it's asymmetrical just like the Axis with that super thin poly finish on it. Satin with the aged yellow uh, tint. This also streets at $14.99. A little bit more for the Sunburst. And these will be available in stores February 2nd. It's beautiful. Too. You feel the neck profile? Very nice. And that's the Sterling? Yeah, this is all Sterling by Oh, Sterling has a majesty too. That's brand new. Yeah, it's pretty killer. Yeah, I definitely want to check that out. So Daniel here is from Praxis. He'll be able to walk me through the Cool. Daniel. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the uh, the Sterling stuff. Usually I don't do the videos, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Sterling by Music Man is the import line of Music Man. So there are lots of you know Music Man followers and loyal customers, the players. Uh, but they sometimes want a more affordable version. So uh, these are made in uh, China and some are made in Korea. And the, uh, because of the quality um, control, you know, we bring them uh, from China to our facility in uh, Orange, California. We inspect and set up every single guitar and bass here in our facility and then we distribute throughout the U.S and export to about 43 countries right now. Wow. Yeah. So Music Man is up here, American made, and then we have Sterling by Music Man, and then we also have a sub-series, which is the entry-level guitars and the basses. So, so this is a great way for youngsters to you know, get their foot in the door uh, from Music Man. So we start with sub-series, you know, uh, Sterling by Music Man guitars, and then they move up, and of course we, you know, we share the same design and features, uh, but they're just made uh, with the generic parts and yeah, overseas, so that, that'll be a more I mean, this is, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. And sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, if sometimes it is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean.
Yeah, this is really nice too. This is really nice. Locking tuners too. It's nice. Our worldwide presence has been growing every year uh, since we started uh, eight years ago. And it's, it's all because of the quality. Look at this. Yeah. That's gorgeous. This is equipped with the Marzios too. Yeah. Yes. We have Jump Trinity Series and JP100, which is this model, uh, comes with the Marzio pickups. Thank you for talking to us. Yeah, no problem, always. 